Let us try to understand 3D representation and a method of solving such problems using trigonometry. Consider the triangle ABC in horizontal plane where AB is along north and CB is along east. Determine the height of the building located at C with the angle of elevation of 60 degrees from B. So in the given diagram we have triangle ABC and distance between A and B is given to us as 50 meters. Angle at A is 23 degrees and angle of elevation is 60 degrees. From this information we need to find height of the building. Think like this. There are two points on the ground from which measurements are being done and these two points are 50 meter away. Angle which A makes with foot of the building and the other point is 23 degrees and angle of elevation from B is 60 degrees. What is the height of the building CD? So that is also a way of interpreting it. So in any case this is a 3D representation where we have one triangle which is on the horizontal plane and the other one which is in the vertical plane. So as you can note here angle between CD and this triangle is 90 degrees both ways and the triangle itself since the sides are along north and east makes an angle of 90 degrees at the vertex C. So these are the points which you should appreciate right. Now let's solve it. It's like a simple solution but interesting problem to understand. Now this is a right triangle so we can use trigonometric ratios. We don't have to go for sine law and cosine law in such cases right. Now since you know that angle A is 23 and what we need to find, we need to find CB. Once we know CB then in the triangle DCB we can find height DC right. So let's find CB. CB is to be found and what is known to us is the hypotenuse 50 meters and the angle 23. So CB is opposite side so we, we should use sine correct. So sine of 23 degrees should be equal to CB over hypotenuse 50 correct. So from here we know CB is equals to 50 times sine of 23 degrees correct. So we can use calculator find our answer. This is 50 times sine of 23 which is equal to 19.536. It's good to keep it to four decimal places. It is 19.5365. So let's keep it four decimal places. Now let's solve in triangle DCB. Let's find DC. We know CB and we need to find DC. With this angle 60 degrees known to us as angle of elevation, we should use tan theta, right? So tan of 60 degrees is what? Tan of 60 degrees will be CD over CB. Now from here we can find the height CD, right? So CD is equals to CB times tan of 60. CB is, let's write CB first, times tan of 60 degrees, correct? So that is how we can find the height of the building. So that is a general method of solving such a question. Now let's calculate these values and find height of the building. So we can say height of the building, which is CD, is equals to CB we found as 19.5365 times tan of 60 times tan of 60 degrees. So this is equals to, let's multiply this by tan of 60 and what we get is 33.83. Eight the units are meter of course and we can write down our answer now. The answer is the height of the building is, you can round your answer to whole number and say 34 meters. So that is the height of the building. Correct? So that is how you can solve such questions. Thank you.